Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have our second Chinese folktale of the week. And this story comes to us from the Chinese fairy book. And it's it's an interesting story of the gods. It's definitely a legend of the gods. But it's more than that. It's a creation of the gods from the elements. And because of that, it is extremely special and very cool. This is How the Five Ancients Became Men. Before the earth was separated from the heavens, all there was was a great ball of watery vapor called chaos. And at that time, the spirits of the five elemental powers took shape and became the five ancients. The first was called the Yellow Ancient, and he was the ruler of earth. The second was called the Red Lord, and he was the ruler of fire. The third was called the Dark Lord, and he was the ruler of the water. The fourth was known as the Wood Prince, and he was the ruler of the wood. The fifth was called the Mother of Metals and ruled over them. These five ancients all set their primal spirit into motion so that water and earth sank down. The heavens floated upward and the earth grew firm in the depths. Then they allowed the waters to gather into rivers and seas and hills and plains made their existence. So the heavens opened and the earth was divided, and there were sun, moon, and all the stars, wind, clouds, rain, and dew. The yellow ancient set the earth's purest power spinning in a circle, and added the effect of fire and water thereto. Then there came forth grasses and trees, birds and beasts, and the tribes of the serpents and insects, fishes and turtles. The wood prince and the mother of metals combined light and darkness and thus created the human race as men and women. And thus the world gradually came to be. At that time, there was one who was known as the true prince of the Jasper Castle. He had acquired the art of sorcery through the cultivation of magic. The five ancients begged him to rule as the supreme god. He dwelt above the three and thirty heavens, and the jasper castle of white jade and golden gates was his. Before him stood the stewards of the eight and twenty houses of the moon, and the gods of the thunders and the great bear, and in addition a class of baneful gods whose influence was evil and deadly. They all aided the true prince of the Jasper Castle to rule over the thousand tribes under the heavens and to deal out life and death, fortune and misfortune. The lord of the Jasper Castle is now known as the Great God, the White Jade Ruler. The five ancients withdrew after they had done their work and thereafter lived in quiet purity. The Red Lord dwells in the south as the god of fire. The Dark Lord dwells in the north as the mighty master of the somber polar skies. He lived in a castle of liquid crystal. In later ages he sent Confucius down upon the earth as a saint, hence this saint is known as the Son of Crystal. The Wood Prince dwells in the east. He is honored as the Green Lord, and watches over the coming into being of all creatures. In him lives the power of spring, and he is the god of love. The mother of metals dwells in the west, by the sea of jasper, and is also known as the queen mother of the west. She leads the rounds of the fairies, and watches over change and growth. The yellow ancient dwells in the middle. He is always going about in the world in order to save and to help those in any distress. The first time he came to the earth he was the Yellow Lord who taught all mankind all sorts of arts. In his later years he fathomed the meaning of the world on the ethereal mount 
and flew up to the radiant sun. Under the rule of the Zeshao dynasty, he was born again as Li Orel, and when he was born his hair and beard were white, for which reason he was called Lao Tse, Old Child. He wrote the book of meaning and life and spread his teachings through the world. He is honored as the head of Taoism. At the beginning of the reign of the Han dynasty, he again appeared as the old man of the river, Ho Shang-gun. He spread the teachings of Tao abroad mightily, so that from that time on Taoism flourished greatly. These doctrines are known to this day as the teachings of the Yellow Ancient. There is also a saying, First Lao Tse was, then the heavens were. And that must mean that Lao Tse was that very same Yellow Ancient of Primal Days. And that is how the Five Ancients became men. A Chinese folktale, which is at parts origin story, but also is the origin of the gods, which is so unique and so special. While we do get it also in the ancient Greek and Roman, it's really interesting to see it from China and to see how the Chinese saw their creation of gods. This is Dan Schultz for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere that you'd like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening.